Hi, this is Tom with a quick tip for Revit and today I will show you how to assign keyboard shortcuts. It's quite useful for the most used commands to use keyboard shortcuts and you may already know that maybe for a wall you got VA, you type VA and you start drawing the wall. But some, for some commands there are no keyboard shortcuts in the default installation of Revit. One of those is Revision Cloud. So let's say I would like to use shortcut RV for starting the command Revision Cloud. How do I do that? I go to File, I go to Options, and then under the User Interface, there are keyboard shortcuts here. And I want to customize them. And here you can see all of the commands on the left side of Revit. And on the here, these are the assigned shortcuts. So I want to find Revision Cloud. I can search here. So I will type Revision. And you can already see Revision Cloud. I can click here. And here I can assign the shortcut. So I will type RV here and assign. You can see that the shortcut is assigned. I go to OK, OK. Now I don't have to click the Revision Cloud command, I can just type in RV and the Revision Cloud command starts and I can start drawing and now it's working. If I want to change the keyboard shortcut, I go to File Options, User Interface and Customize Shortcut again. I go to Revision Cloud and here I type in again, let's say RVT and I've got two shortcuts here and if I don't want to have the RV, I can click it and hit remove. Now the shortcut is only RVT. Okay, so now if I type RV, nothing happens, but if I type RVT, the revision cloud command starts and I can draw revision cloud. Sometimes it can happen that the keyboard shortcut that you want to use is already assigned to a different command. So let's say I want to use remove paint. For the remove paint tool I want to use shortcut RP which you may know is already assigned by default to reference paint. If I click here assign Revit warns me that the shortcut will be duplicate. I can assign it now it works. So when I type RP, you can see here down at the bottom at the status bar that the reference plane command is started. And if I press right arrow key or left arrow key, I can toggle between those two commands. So I can toggle like this. This is not very practical, but it works like this in Revit. You can use it. So again, I will start the command RP, then toggle with the right arrow to, let's say, reference plane, and then I start the command with the enter. Not very practical. So I will remove the keyboard shortcut from the remove paint tool and just leave it without the keyboard shortcut because I'm using reference planes quite a lot and I don't want to mess with the starting of the command like this. To get the list of the default um, keyboard shortcuts for Revit, which are standard, you can go to Keyboard Shortcuts help page uh, on um, Revit Help. And there's this file, it's PDF or XLS, which lists all of the commands here. And here there are default assigned shortcuts. So you can see that the reference plane is shortcut RP. So that's it for the keyboard shortcuts. I hope this helps and take care.